So here we go. Just <laughs> trying to get as many of these in as we can. So we were we were about a half a second too slow there, just because of that. Um, uh, what's it called? The flurry prop that we got. I wanted to get that in there just because it's really hard to extend it for the next length without it. So, frozen touches back up. Make sure you use it right away. You need to make sure you're rotating things as fast as you can. And then you pray for Brox. My water jet came back up, got to use that. So there is some good prox there. That's going to help us a lot. I think now, because of that, we're pretty much guaranteed. Right. Ray Frost is back up. We got a full 10 seconds left on our thermal void. That extra 30% haste that we got from extending it that long is going to give us four extra ticks of max damage ray frost. And that is the point of the spec right there. So we hit 480 by the end of uh, by the time our AC veins were off. Keep in mind that's without a. Uh... Oh, you know what? I screwed up too. I should have uh, used my a blizzard before I did that because I had the five stacks for my belt so that the blizzard got the rune power too. Sorry, my bad. Anyway, so now you just hold on to your rune of powers again, because um, your icy veins is gonna be off cooldown for your next ray of frost. So now you're just building procs again. So your procs are up, ray of rune of power. And do it all over again. You don't get uh, heroism, but it's still the same thing. There you go. That's how you do it. And that's the secret. We have 433. And this is like three minutes into the fight without any without any buffs or anything, so. 420. Anyway, that's the goal. That's what you do. Actually, I should highlight that, put that up on YouTube for people to watch. 